Can you pray like that uh, when we are not singing? Listen to how they, they are playing. This, uh, David always loved this. Praises and worship. Listen to them. There's going to be electricity of fire from the Holy Spirit. And uh, uh, I don't know if I'm talking my stories, but demons won't tolerate to be here. Sickness won't tolerate to be here. You know, sometimes we take you people who are who are playing this for granted. And, and, and Satan, Satan used granted. this and Satan to deceive the world. When you'll be playing from today, the power of God, in fact, I want to see this thing that I'm saying after, after I finish preaching here. I just want to, can you come here? Leave Come well, and turn around here and go Little money. You, you'll get a turn around. Little money. Mo, mo, mo. Just turn around me. Papa come, come, turn around. Turn around here. So, when you reach here, get anointing from here. Yeah. Look here. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. From here, from today here, you people here, you are anointed. When you play here, when you play, after I finish preaching, sickness must leave. Problems Amen. must go. Amen. In fact, next week I'll be praying for those ones who are there. You, you next week you are anointed here. You, you are anointed. Nothing will touch you. In Jesus' name. Go and sit down. Go and sit down. I did this, uh, God bless you, God bless you. It reminds me when, when I finished preaching, I want us to, I want these people to play and <laughs> see what will happen <laughs> in the church. To play this song. <laughs> to play this song that, uh, my son, <laughs> to play this song and then <laughs> <from> <laughs> Because you know God uses our words. God uses what? Our words. What I'm saying here. You people here, when you will be playing. Can you just press and say, Va only. Something will happen to someone here. Just to say, Va something happens. to someone here. Just to say, Va something happens to someone here. Just Just to say, Va something happens to someone here. Just to say, Va something happens to because I want to tell you, like now, when they say va, I so begin to hear the movement. Just only that. Just play like that. Carry on like that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are before you. Yeah. You are home.
sing your praises. I sing your praises forever. Oh, deeper in love with you. Oh, here in your courts where I'm close to of God, these people now, when I'm listening, when they're playing, they bring the power of God in this place. So, let's clap hands for Jesus. Amen. Let's open our Bibles. Thank you, Jesus. Let's open our Bibles. Today, I want us to look at the scriptures. There is power in our ways. Ways are there so that we throw them to bring something. something. Today we'll be talking about the power of our ways. If we read First Kings, Mola di Hoshing Jamatoma, twenty two, twenty two, from verse ten. First Kings twenty two, verse ten. The Hoshi Jamatoma twenty two, Revaling Gutua, verse ten. Can you read from verse ten? Now the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, were each sitting on his throne, dressed in their royal robes in an open place, at the threshing floor at the entrance of the gate of Samaria. And all the prophets were prophesying before them. Then Zedekiah, the son of Chenina, made for himself horns of iron and said, Thus says the Lord, with this you will go, the Arameans, meaning the Syrian, Syrians, until they are destroyed. All the prophets were prophesying in the same way, the place to please Ahab saying, go up to Ramoth Gilead and be successful, for the Lord will hand it over to the king. Micaiah predicts defeat. Then the messenger who went to someone, Micaiah said to him, listen carefully the words of the prophets and unanimously favorable to the king. Please let your words be like the word of one of them and speak favorably. But Micaiah said, as the Lord lives, I will speak what the Lord says to me. So when he came to the king, the king said to him, Micaiah, shall we go against Ramoth Gilead in battle or shall we not? And he answered him, go up and be successful, for the Lord will hand it over to the king. 
But the king doubted him and said to him, How many times must I make you swear to tell me nothing but the truth in the name of the Lord? And he said, and he said. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I just want us to look at our words. There are many people who speak to our lives. Today we see King Ahab living by being influenced. If people are favoring him, they have to speak what he loved. Whereas the words are so important that we need to discern them if we fear God. Makaya could not be influenced. Makaya na But we see King Ahab being influenced. King Ab, all the prophets prophesy good things for him. He knew they were false. Because when Micaiah came to speak the same, he said, I know you are fooling me. You need to speak the truth. The person we need to preach about here is King Ab. It was not the prophet because the prophet was representing God. The prophet was bringing judgment. King Ab was influenced. To extend that even when he was told the truth, he knew it is the truth, but he won't do it. We need to reach a level where influence must not be part of us. We descend always. You know, when I was praying this morning, God told me that the reasons why many people won't be what you are praying for. Because they accept every way. They can't discern ways. There are stories that they hear. And these stories, they affect their faith. So I cannot do what I want to do to them. Here a prophet came and speak a favorable word. And the man knows that this word that he says is not true. And but still, it. he was angry against the prophet. And I am with majority. I am a babatu. We are living a life where we stand with majority. Whatever we hear, we take it in. Without discerning that. Without discerning. And this has really crippled our faith. Because faith comes by the word. The word of God. Not stories. Not lies. 
there are many things we are hearing as really crippled you. I pray that today you can identify the root of the problem. 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 Influence has misled you. Though he knew that Prophet Micaiah, he prophesied bad things that happened. Still, he carried on and went to Gilead. And the Bible says he never came back. The, we are very much carrying ourselves. And we don't make it. We take wrong assignments. And we don't reach there. Because of ways. There are many destinies that have been affected. Because we don't know that ways can carry victory or a defeat. We need to find the true ways. We need to understand that ways are very dangerous. Let's read another scripture. If we read Matthew 12, from verse 33, it says, either make the tree good or and its fruit good, or make the tree bad or its fruit bad. For the tree is recognized and judged by its fruit. You brought of vipers. Good things when you are evil. For the mouth speaks out of what which, which fills the heart. The mouth speaks what fills the heart. We need to know that words are cheap. It's easy that we can throw them away. But words reveal our hearts. It is easy to identify our hearts. By the words we speak. You know, the Bible says, who knows the heart? It's deceitful. It is deceitful. In other words, it's full of ways. That comes to confuse. It's only the Lord who can say that. So we need to understand our own heart. So that when the Lord searches the heart, you find that the heart is suitable for what he wants to do with it. If it is only the Lord who enters your heart, don't allow every word to just come out without noticing. Because we know you by the ways you speak. But we know you by the ways you speak. We know your heart by the ways you speak. Check your heart. It is easy to know if you are going to heaven or not. It is easy to know. Because of the ways you speak. These words define your heart. I pray that today, when Jesus come back, he must not find an evil heart on you. He must not find it from the wrong ways that have been planted in your heart. When we read Proverbs 18, 18, 18 20 to 21. 20 to 21. It says, a man's stomach will be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth. He will be satisfied with the consequences of his ways. Death and life 
in the power of Rukumata of the time and those who love it indulge in it it is fruit and but bear the consequences of but the words. What I'm reading here is the consequences of the words. The words, they have consequences. You don't just speak and it ends there. You don't just gossip and it ends there. We need to check the ways we speak because they are That is why you cannot speak failure. And you inherited a victory. That's why you cannot speak success. And die poor. Because there's consequences. It can look like it's taking long. But you are doing it shows that when you speak ways, you are so in seed that you are going to reap. Tell them when you speak ways, your ways are the seed that you will harvest one day. Today in our churches, we come from different places and come and make friendship here. But we cannot discern the people around us. I've, you know, because it's long, I'm in the ministry. I've experienced one of the reasons why I keep silent is because of that. Yeah. You are coming from different places. You make friendship with people you don't know. Soon you will be together without understanding the consequences that will come to you without identifying or maybe seeing beyond or dissecting the one you are coming together with. Tell I'm here alone. I'm here for myself. We need to be very careful. Because we normally join together and associations that affect us. May I see judgment coming. For some people who cannot check their questions before you open your mouth check the before you speak out check the quince I'm here to tell you that many problems you have to make are coming from witches and wizards are coming from your ways tell me about many problems you have today are coming from your ways are not coming from witches and wizards. Deal with your ways. Deal with your ways. Let us deal with your ways. Because if your tongue is right, if your tongue is very right, you will always praise God. And this God will make you to see beyond what you understand. Right now, right now your tongue is wrong. You, can, you, you have to suspect people. You live by suspicions. And you have to talk. And as you are throwing words there and there, you don't know they are backfiring on you. And they are affecting you. At the end of the day, you are accusing or you are judging other people. Where you are throwing your ways. Think about when you are suspecting someone is a witch. There you go to heaven. That one is my child. You, you can go to hell because of what you said. We need to be very careful. When we throw out our words, I want to tell you that a person that will be pure, the person who knows what to say, 
know what to say. I want to give you an example. I'm sure you hear people accusing pastors. Yeah. Uh, you hear that? Because pastors are supposed to be judged a lot. The Bible says, do not be all pastors. The judgment will be serious. Why? Because we speak words. We are preaching words here. So we must be judged a lot. When I began to see that, I told myself that I won't just throw out my words. It is not easy that you can find Find me by ways I'm telling you. Because I don't want just to throw out my ways. I don't know if you're hearing me. Tell me you, you, cannot, you cannot just judge a person by lies forever. So if you want to succeed in life, check the ways you are so weak. Because it is the same way that brings punishment to punishment These words, they've got consequences. Hey, Mandriana, limited them around. You cannot, you cannot find me by ways. I'm telling you. you, you cannot. Even when I speak by phone, I check my words. Leki bulela ka phone na ke atola ore ke bulela ka reng. From today, you must be careful of your. Be careful. Someone is recording you. Someone will punish you. Don't just speak words. You need to be vigilant. If you are hearing me say, I hear you. The Bible says, a man's stomach will be satisfied by your ways. In other words, these words determine how you are supposed to be. For you to be successful is coming from the ways you speak. You know, I normally preach when, I, when I'm standing here. You know, isn't it? So the reason why I'm walking here is because of the dress of mama. I, I love the dress. You know. when, when I'm preaching here, when I turn here, you see me walking like this. Yes, when I get to work, I'm home. Yes. Follow me, Mama. <laughs> yes, this dress, you know, I love it. <laughs> but this dress, Mama, <laughs> it came by my ways. It will tell you when I speak words. Mama can dress like this. Mama, I can speak ways. I can speak ways. Mama cannot dress like this. Mama, I can see a paragam You are determined. When I will want a hollow by the words you speak, come and your success. Cut the way a house from the words you speak. Each moment, chin wavolella. Clap well, clap well, clap well. Lisha Pebosia, Lisha Pamaso. If we read Proverbs 21 23, I will let's read that verse, Mama. Uh -huh. <clears throat> 21 verse 23. Yes. It says, He who guards his mouth and his tongue guards himself from trouble. He who guards his mouth and his tongue guards himself from trouble. Now you understand where trouble comes from. What is the meaning of trouble? Something that you need to stand up and fight to defend yourself. You know now when you are starting to use your, your energy, you are to do whatever you are doing. You are the one who started. You're the one who started. The way you started, you can end it that way. The problem is from the mouth. He who guard his mouth, the words you speak, you need to check them. If you're able to check them, there's no trouble. Somebody say, I'm 
Some problems, uh, we are praying. I said, this trouble must come and end. Hey, this matata, demon will come. Let's cut our mouth. Let's cut our mouth. I remember I spoke with one of my pastors. I said to him, brother, do not go and preach in our village. Pastor says, hey, I'm paying I says, there's too much witchcraft there. Because in our village, when I grew up, they used to say, ah, this is, is a train. But there was no relevance. Madam Ketina's train. From nine o'clock, you cannot walk. There. So I say, brother, let's take a drink crusade from six o'clock. You're going to preach. Now you're going to go home. You'll meet the train. I was, I was thinking about that. Please don't go and preach there. Brother was excited. The Holy Spirit, he went to the village. And preach, oh yes, Jesus, yes. From there, the trouble came. He came here to me and says, I don't know what is burning me. And the neck was 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 one thing with the shoulder. the shoulder, But I told you, that don't go and preach there. You must guard your mouth. You keep quiet. I'm here to tell you that there are some places where you cannot talk. There are some people you are not supposed to talk. With. You get a problem. Trouble that you cannot solve. I don't know if you're hearing me. There are troubles that come because you are talking. Even myself, uh, there are things that I don't tell my wife. I don't want trouble. <laughs> Because she will tell me, I'm man of God. That's the first thing. How can you speak something like this? I don't want my wife to doubt my position. Sometimes you remove from yourself where you belong. By talking what you're not supposed to talk. Stay on your line. Stay on your line. You don't need just to talk things. Position yourself. Stand your ground. When you do that, the day you use your words. The day you say the rain must that come, God will hear you. you. The reasons why we cannot, I mean, our, our, our words cannot bring the results. Because we throw them everything. We just talk everything. We talk everything. And that is why when we say we want promotion, promotion doesn't. That is why our region is not promotion. I hate promotion. Our words are supposed to change the mountains. They are supposed to move the mountains. They are supposed to destroy the mountains. If you are hearing me say, I hear you. Let me give you another scripture. It says in the book of Job, chapter 2, verse 10. Job was a very powerful Christian. But when the wife began to tempt him, look at what he said on verse 10. Read. Chapter 2, verse 10. But he said to her, you speak as one of the spiritually foolish woman speaks. 
-huh. ignorant and oblivious to God's will, shall we indeed accept only good from God and not also accept adversity and disaster? In spite of all this, Job did not sin with words from his lips. Did you hear that? Little. Job, Job did you know that God was watching him closely. Sometimes when you are with your wife or you are with your husband, you don't know or you are with your friend that you are being checked on what you say. When the wife spoke, look, you don't have income. Look, look you are sick. Look, you are dying. Look, you are useless. We are born out to Kalimuhula. Job answered. Job wa fitula. It's like you are not wise in the things of this world. Okare wa talifa di long jasmoya. We must accept when God gives us adversity, scarcity, we must accept because it's the same God who prospered us. Can you see that? It's the same God <laughs> Who I don't know if you are hearing it. It is the same God who has allowed this. So now, this man, the Bible says, he never seen. In other words, God was watching. Listen. These words we speak when we are together. When there is no other person. It's also a test of it how far are we with God. Sometimes, sometimes we feel like we are just speaking it. But it is me and my wife. Yes. The man is together. He is talking about a husband and a wife. Yes. The man is talking about a husband and a wife. Yes. The man is talking about a husband and a wife. Yes. The man is talking about a husband and a wife. Yes. The man is talking about a husband and a wife. Yes. The man is talking about a husband and a wife. Yes. The man is talking about a husband and a wife. Yes. The man is talking about a husband and a wife. I'm accepting the situation. The Bible says he never seen by his lips. He never seen by his words. He said, "I was sitting here with my wife. I 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 was sitting here with my wife. Complaining concerning your situation. You must be checked. You must be able to check. The situation that is there is there for you to still stand without sinning and stand on the ground of God's word. And Lord is still with us. Despise the situation. The Lord is involved. Despise this lack. We need to speak what is right from the word of God without looking at the situation. If you are hearing me say I hear you. Can you tell anybody say my friend? What are you facing? What are you facing? When I will go and I will tell you one issue. And why do you speak in your private? And I will lie in your holiday. Yeah, the word of God was telling us that God is checking us in our private. God is checking us in our private. For God to restore all to this man's job. It didn't start in the material. It started spiritually. Don't look at the, the material things. Look at your spirit. Prevail in the spirit. Succeed in the things of the spirit. By standing right. Speaking right. Allow the right way to come out of your mouth. When you are facing all. And soon what you are speaking. Will manifest in the future. Oh, Bonahala, Namie.
There are some people who are here that God is looking at the ways that you are sending them out and is waiting for you to speak the right way. You know, Jesus, Jesus, when he was hungry for 40 days and 40 nights, when Satan came and said, you are hungry, he said, I'm not disparate. I'm not disparate. I cannot use my power that I will receive for my selfishness because I know my God is with me. Sometimes we need to deny to be accused that we are failing to look like it's over. But we need to stop complaining and stand in our ground so that we stand in the word and speak the right ways, which will make us to prevail in every situation. If you say hallelujah, it is time now that we must check our ways because it is our ways that has brought where we are. Our ways are coming from our association. If you associate with people, you are bound to answer them. Job, Job was bound to answer his wife because he was left with his wife. So he's bound to answer his wife. And when the wife spoke, he said, hey, don't speak like a foolish person. Because he knew the devil can enter his wife concerning the situation. I'm here to tell you that your situation needs right ways of faith. Don't complain all the time. And you are the one who can change. By not sinning, when you are speaking the right way. If you are here, you say hallelujah. So today I'm here to tell you that all, all along you were wasting time when you were talking with. about your situation. Tell you about all along hey, you were wasting time when you were talking about your situation. Because even where you are you are in a place because God has planned for you to be there. It is not because, because of your ability. So you are coming from somewhere. You from will take your head. So don't be afraid and have fear. That's why Joshua said, if God delighted us, if God has delighted us, he took us from there in Egypt. So we cannot fail to conquer Jericho. If he has delighted on us, let us go let us move forward. We need Christians who are saying, let us move forward. Despise our situation. Let us go forward. Despise the lack. Despise the sickness. Despise the tough times. We need Christians who are saying, I don't care what is happening. The Lord is with me. I want to tell you that this is one of the things I told myself. I will speak that in Venda. I told myself, I'm not looking at anybody. And I don't want to hear anybody. Because when Jesus found me, there was nobody. I have told myself this. I know where I'm coming from. I am a, huh? I, am a I was a big Tsotsi. If you are speaking about a Tsotsi, I mean Tsotsi. A crook, not the one who holds a knife. A crook who knows how to fight. A crook who knows fighting. I was a crook. One day when I was praying for somebody, 
A certain demon made me to be amazed. My wife was there. My wife was there. The demon said, me, ourselves, we knew that you were going to preach the word and you would be troublesome. That is why we made you to fight all the time. So that when you are fighting, you will die in hell. You will go to jail. People of God. If the devil has a plan with your life. God has a bigger plan with you. Don't allow to stay down. Are you hearing me? God has a bigger plan with you. Don't allow yourself to be discouraged because of the things that does not work. Now, when I got this Jesus, I will never listen to anybody because I know where I come from. I know where I've been robbed. I know where I was robbed. I know where I was robbed. I know where I was robbed. Right now, I can see what Jesus has done for me. I know what Jesus has done for me. Since I got the Jesus, I I saw him, and I know that he can do what. I know that my God, my Jesus, when he's like he's taking time, he's not taking time, he's you working his own thing. He's working his own thing. I know this Jesus. I will never be robbed by words that are not done at Christ in. Are you hearing me? So I'm saying this. Because I know Jesus. Now I will never speak things that will show that I am tired. I don't get tired. I hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Speak words that are right. I will speak that it will rain until it rains. I speak that. And I will, there will be wind, I will say the rain. Will come. And I will just watch like there is no clouds and people will be not take. But I will say, but the rain will come. I stand on my ways. Stand on your own ways. Be a Christian that stood, stand on his own ways. Mm. I'm speaking this because I'm giving you an example that the devil will and shake you. Allow him to shake you. But you must answer him. You are shaking me, yes. But I will never go out from what I believe in. I will never move. The devil wants will you just to worry. My things. Mm. Hey, my things are not like other people's things. My own. My own is not like other people's things. And you look at yourself. And you say, but why? But why? But why? Other people's things are just moving nicely. And they have this and this. I'm praying and they are not praying. But those ones are not challenged by anything because they are going nowhere. You are being challenged because there is somewhere you are getting to where any nobody can just enter. Just think that I'm getting in. When you, when you see somebody prospering and the person does not know God, don't worry. Don't admire the person. Don't admire the person. You know, I was speaking with some boys. They said to me that, ah, why Christians? Why are plus? Why, I mean, Churches of Christians are different with of Muslims. I said, I told them that, ah, oh, no, Muslims, they've, they've reached their heaven. 
I say, we, we this year hey, is not heaven. It's a better ground here. I say, Muslims, they can beautify the Muslim church. Ba they can do ritual. They don't have a challenge. I say, but because here is the heaven. Is the heaven. I say, us us heaven is there. So we need to stand. Yes. Yes. What we believe in. Yes. And yes. Until God does it. Yes. And it is the heaven. I see God doing it. I see God doing it for you. Yes. 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 If you are hearing me say, I hear you. Yes. 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 Let me read the scripture. Romans 10 verse 8. Romans 10 8. Yes. But what does it say? Mm -hmm. The word is near you. The word is near you. In your mouth mm -hmm. and in your heart. That is the word, the message, the basis of faith which we preach. Listen to this. This is something I want to elaborate to nicely. I want to talk. It is easy to talk the word. Anyway. That's why when we ask, how are you, you say, I'm fine. That is why we Even when there's nothing to do. It's easy to say, I'm fine. It's not easy to reveal what is from the heart. Because whatever that is in the heart is what you are facing in reality. What you are facing in reality, which becomes your secret. It becomes your secret because you have developed some ways of how to fight it. And you know how far it's affecting you. 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 It's not what comes from the heart. And we end up just talking. It's what we have been taught. Which is the way. Answer what we are facing. Which is affecting our heart. The word of God is near you. Is in the mouth. Is in our heart. So now this word that we put in our heart. That we are able to speak with our heart. And answer every situation that we are trying to deal with by our physical strength. Let it be the word of God that is being preached. Just read that verse again. It says what? But what does it say? The word is near you, uh -huh. in your mouth, yes. and in your heart. Mm. That is the word, the message, the basis of faith which we preach. Did you hear that? This is the basis of the word we preach. If truly you are coming to church, we are preaching to you. The situation you are going through. Answer it by the word that was preached. Answer it by the word you have read. On that you are in God's will. For you to be in God's will is when you are able to answer the situation by God's will. You know, God will say, it is not my will, I will change it. You are sick. And you say, I'm healed. In the name of Jesus. Because because by the stripes, I'm healed. But you are still feeling pain. Now, the one who looks unto the heart sees that you say this. On the situation you are facing, which is affecting the same heart. There's a fight in your heart. So there's only one person who sees the heart. And that one is God. When you look at your heart, 
Paul level la piluye. He sees you say I'm here. Wa bona wena uri kifodile. And you are able to speak it with your mouth from the heart. And the same situation is affecting your heart. So now when he sees that he is saying no. It is not my will. As it tato yaka ye. For allowing the way. Ya udumela into the heart. Lele le nkara pelo. In this person. Kara mutuo. Fight with the situation. Ange ngere lwa neng le siemo. Let the situation go. Are wona o siemo se siya. That's how you will be healed. Today you can change the situation by answering it by the words from the scriptures, the words we preach. I don't know if you're hearing me. Let me give an example. Because this is something that I wanted to explain. If you say you are called, I want to tell you that, for example, the moment when you say I'm called, it doesn't end there. It goes to the heart. Now, the problems of those people who are called are coming to their heart. Can you see that? The challenges you are facing are the challenges you are facing. 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 When they come to the heart, you overcome by still standing the same ground. I'm called, I'm called, and I must preach without looking at the situation. So God who sees the heart will give you the ability to go forward. I want to tell you this. You don't just be given anointing without a challenge. You, don't, you are not just given a blessing without a challenge. It's coming from the way. And you stand on. I don't know if you're hearing me. Listen, when challenges come your way, they don't want to shift you from the, from the, from the place you said. That's why God said we are called That's why by faith. We are called because you just heard someone saying, you are called by faith. It means it is by the way you stop believing in your heart. So the challenges that will come will be coming searching for the words that you have received. The Bible says Jesus said because of the word the, the, the thorns will grow. The challenges will come searching the, for the word for the word that we have received the word that we can speak those challenges that we are facing are searching for the word that you have believed in if you are here to say amen you don't just become a millionaire if it's from God the ways must be of right which are worthy from God if you are here to say amen if you are here to say amen uh, last time I told you, I just want to give an example. Uh, when God was reminding me this, last time I told you that God wants us here to succeed, to start businesses. Remember. How many of you started that? After I said that, can you just stand up the people I said who went to start those businesses? If you went to start a business, stand up. I'm seeing how many people. These are people who have listened to what I said. Okay, sit down. Don't ever think this business will boom. There have to be a challenge. For you, to start it, you have done what God said. But challenges will come and test if you are fit to manage. Because he was able to manage poverty will be able to manage riches. 
God will never allow you just boom you are So now when challenges come you are able to say what God, God said this God said we must start businesses I believe that Today don't waste time and waste ways remember Matthew 6 verse 7 that even when we pray we must not be like a hypocrite talking ways wasting there can you just read that verse 7 Mama? Matthew 6 verse 7 Matthew 6 verse 7 yes from today when you, you are going to pray be silent first I will guide you what you can do today okay Matthew 6 7 says and when you pray, do not use meaningless repetition as the Gentiles do. Yes. For they think they will be heard because of their many words. Did you hear that? We are not people who talk too much. I said, I'm not talking too much. I want to give you uh, this that you can go illustration. Let me say illustration. If you want to succeed from now, don't talk too much. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. Mm. Learn, to, learn to be silent. Check what you are saying. Athens. They talk too much. Because they want to dominate. They talk too much. Yes. Are you listening? They want to dominate. You, you don't talk too much. Meditate the words. Think the ways that you have read in this country. It will bring excitement to you. Even when you are going to pray, don't just Say, Father, like you are praying for food. Oscar, you are praying for food. Papa, bless this Lord. Go show for the food. For the food. Eh, the food. No, you keep quiet first. A humble appeal. Meditate scriptures. What challenge you man want? If you want to pray, how you can appeal? You cannot pray without the word of God. Oh, cause the appeal was not in the name of Him. Are you able to say? Leanto, go keep quiet. Toma humble. And then now, if there's no scripture coming to you, don't How pray. Take the Bible now. Bible, you know. Study the Bible first. Uba le Bible le Amen. Amen. Because remember, you pray by the word. It is the word that gives your words power. So keep quiet. I wish you can keep quiet one hour when I pray. And the message. The, the scriptures are coming on top of you. And you are meditating them. And, and you are quiet. Before oh God, before you pray. You know the mistake we have today. When we are going to pray, you start with tongues. No, keep quiet. You need the word. And the word gives and you power. When you are quiet, you are meditating the word before God. You are meditating the word of God. You don't have a relationship with God except, except by his words. Except by God's word. So you are approaching God by the word. You are meditating. The word says this. I must enter where? I am here? I mean, I'm a, with thanksgiving. Oh, no, I think. you, you, you bring the word to yourself. When you start to pray, there will be fire. I pray that from today. You see the word of God. as important. Your words that come from your mouth are so powerful. Don't just talk. Don't just talk. I pray that from today, every word that comes from your mouth, you will reap the reasons of that word. God bless you. God bless you.